mountain comes to Muhammad. Muhammad Ali against Buster Mathis. George Chavallo, the Canadian heavyweight champion from Toronto, takes on Cleveland, the big cat, Williams, in a 10-round heavyweight fight. Hello again, uh, everyone. I'm Howard Cosell. Welcome to the Houston Astrodome here in Houston, Texas, and a night of heavyweight boxing. In a relatively short while, I'll be bringing you the blow-by-blow -blow on a happening, because any time Muhammad Ali fights, it seems to be a happening. Muhammad Ali against Buster Mathis. But before that, as I've just noted, we've got a 10-rounder scheduled between two much-traveled heavyweights, Cleveland, the big cat, Williams, now being introduced, and George Chavallo. And to bring you that bout, my colleague, here in Houston, Texas, five-year sports commentator for KTRK Channel 13 here in Houston, who's been studying these two adversaries closely over the recent weeks, Dan Lovett. Dan? Thank you, Howard. We'll bring you up to date on the weights as we go to the ring now and looking at George Chevallo. Chevallo coming into this fight this evening. Weighed in at 227 pounds. Cleveland Williams weighing in tonight. 229 and one half pounds. Now, round one. Chevallo wearing the white trunks, Cleveland Big Cat Williams in black. Both trying to register comebacks, survival actually. As Williams goes to work early, neither one has finesse. They both rely on the heavyweight punch. Cleveland Williams trying to get at Chevallo early here in round one from the Astrodome. Chevallo himself has fought three times for the heavyweight championship of the world. Once against Muhammad Ali, the other against Ernie Terrell, and the third time against Joe Frazier. Chevallo trying to work in the body early. As I mentioned, neither one, neither fighter, with great finesse. As a matter of fact, Harry Markson, the president of Madison Square Garden Boxing, said 10 to 15 years ago, these two fighters would have been a matchmaker's dream. Chevallo is 34, and Williams is 38 now. Much too late for either fighter. Chevallo bruised already in the round one under the right eye. It's amazing that a 38-year-old man like Cleveland Big Cat Williams is still in the ring. He has fought now for some 20 years and lost here to Muhammad Ali in November of 1966 for the heavyweight championship of the world. Referee Earl Keel asks for a break. At one time in his career, Cleveland Williams had a great left hook. And that's the end of round one. The three knockdown rule has been waived tonight, meaning that a fighter can be knocked down four, five, six times. You count them. It will still have to be by the knockdown. The three knockdown rule has been waived. The 10 point system is in effect. As we begin round two from the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. Chevallo trying to come back as Williams goes with the counter punching. Chevallo trying to register that beautiful right hook as he ties uh, Williams up now. The big cat staggering to the near ropes. And Keel asks for a break in round two. Chevallo with the wild left hook. These two fighters between them have knocked out 113 opponents in a long career. Chevallo trying to go to work now on Williams as they come back to center ring. And Keel, the referee, asked for a break. Chevallo, a long history in the ring. A strong right hand. 
Now trying to go to Williams with the left. So far, the only damage after two rounds would be the bruise under Chevallo's right eye. And now the cat bleeding at the nose. Chevallo, no doubt, would like to register an early knockout over Williams here in the Astrodome this evening. Working against Williams at the head, and now the end of round two. Chevallo, white trunks, Cleveland in black. Round three begins with Chevallo bruised under the right eye, Cleveland wink, Big Cat Williams bleeding at the nose at the end of round two. The Big Cat at 2.29. Chevallo, 2.27. Evenly matched as far as the weight is concerned. The Cat trying to come back now against Chevallo, who had the best of him in round two here at the Astrodome. Some heavy slugging now between Williams and Chevallo as they tie up at center ring and the referee Earl Keel asks for a break. Both fighters swelling under the eye. This one scheduled for 10 rounds. Chevallo is cut under both eyes now. As we look at both fighters at center ring. Williams at 38 would like to take the 34 year old Chevallo out early if possible. We're in round three. Chevallo withstanding some of the wild punching by the big cat. And Keel, the referee, once again asks for a break at center ring. Look closely, Chevallo is cut under both eyes. The big cat working with Muhammad Ali watching from his dressing room, waiting to go against Buster Mathis. Ali, who perhaps will have more comment for us between Williams and Chevallo after round three. He has fought both men. The big cat staying in with Chevallo. Williams bleeding at the nostril. A big crowd on hand tonight at the Astrodome as round three ends between Chevallo and Williams. Okay, you're looking at Muhammad Ali in his dressing room. He hardly appears a worried fighter anticipating his bout against Mathis. Why are you so loose? You weigh 227, you're overweight. Can you hear me? I hear you now. Well, I'm in good shape. How was you'll see tonight? I'm going to always be 225, 226. Coming down to 210, 215 is a little too strenuous now. I could do that six years ago, but I'm still developing. And I'm at my peak now, and I'm just natural at 225, 226. And I'm real trim now. I'm in good shape. It's round four. All right, Howard. How do you rate this one after three rounds? <laughs> eyes will not, Dan, hurt him because the fighter's cuts around the eyes are most important when they're over the eyes and the blood seeps into the eyes, blinding the fight. This is round four. Chevallo White Trunks, Cleveland Big Cat Williams in black. As Howard mentioned, 
Shivalo is cut under both eyes. The big cat trying to come back strong. Shivalo stays with him. Body punching by Shivalo. A wild left. Again, to remind you that Chivalo is 34, Cleveland Williams 38. And the close shot will show you that Chivalo is cut under both the right and left eye. So far, Chivalo, as Howard mentioned, handling the cuts under both eyes rather well as he rocks Williams back into the near corner. The cat coming out now with the left hook. And Cleveland wants to tie him up. 15 seconds remaining in round four. This one scheduled for 10 between Chevallo and Williams. As Chevallo. Buster? Yeah, Howard? You've got to be feeling some kind of nervousness because this is the biggest night of your boxing life. I think you're more nervous than I am, Howard. Now, do you want to reveal anything of your tactics now? No, my work is just cut out for me tonight, and I'll be there to, um, um, to fight. All right, good luck to you, Buster. Don't go away. We may be talking to you later between rounds. Round five from the Astrodome, George Chevallo, Cleveland Big Cat Williams. Howard talking with Buster Mathis, who actually is beginning a new career tonight. 32 months in exile. Round five, Chevallo and Williams. A flurry of punches between the big cat and Chevallo. A right by Chevallo. And the fans react in the Astrodome as Chevallo goes, goes at Williams in round five. Chevallo handling both cuts under the eye rather well. Cleveland trying to work at them. Buster Mathis watching from his dressing room. Chevallo working on the body now. A flurry of left and right by Chevallo. Muhammad Ali watching from his dressing room as round five ends at the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. Let's see if we can pick up the former heavyweight champion of the world in his dressing room. How long do you figure it'll last tonight? I don't know. I make no predictions. Buster Mathos gave Joe Frazier all he wanted for 11 rounds. And I understand for the first 10, the fight could have went either way. Any man can That's do that with Joe Frazier. All right, let's good. go with round six. Chevallo White, Cleveland Big Cat Williams in black. As Howard talks with Muhammad Ali from his dressing room. Ali, who was not supposed to be in shape for Jimmy Ellis last July 26th, and then proceeded to dazzle the onlookers here in the Astrodome with a display of speed and stamina. And now George Chevallo at 227 pounds against Cleveland Big Cat Williams, 229 and a half. The fans react in the Astrodome, nickel beer night, as uh, the Big Cat tries to come out with some action against Chevallo as we've just opened round six. 
Cleveland Williams has won 75. He has lost 11, one draw. He has knocked out 56 in his career that spans some 20 years. Williams trying to work now on Chevalo. Muhammad smiling. Howard, are both fighters tiring? Both fighters have been tired for the past three rounds. They are advanced in years, as you've noted, Dan. In the second round, Chevalo really staggered Williams with a right. And Williams appeared in trouble earlier in this round, but has worked his way out of it now. However, to call this fight a scintillating exhibition of boxing would be the worst kind of misnomer. He's saying two much-traveled heavyweights near the end of the road, each going the best he can against the other, and it's not very good. One thing we should note, Howard, is the fact that George Chevalo in 83 bouts has never been knocked off his feet. We watch Muhammad Ali from his dressing room in the closing seconds of round six. As Howard Cosell has noted, both fighters tiring. Chevalo cut early in round one under the right eye, but has handled it well. The end of round six from the Astrodome, Houston, Texas. Nickel beer night in the Astrodome. They had this occasion once before. They had the biggest baseball crowd of the 1971 season. Some 35,000 fans paid their way in to buy a nickel can of beer. Round seven coming up, George Chevalo. You're looking at Cleveland Big Cat Williams and now Chevalo coming from his corner. Break is called for by referee Earl Keel. The three knockdown rule has been waived in this bout between Williams and Chevalo. And Chevalo appears extremely tired. For a man of 38 years of age, Cleveland Williams doing rather well, Howard. We'll see. Less than a minute left in round six from the Astrodome. This one a scheduled 10 rounder. This is round seven. Chevalo and White, Williams and Black, as they tie up and Keel asks for the break. The dressing room again. As the hand of Muhammad Ali is being wrapped for the 12 rounder against Buster Mathis. Cavallo swinging wild with the right. 14 seconds remaining in round seven. And both fighters are willing to call it quits. Tiring here at the end of seven in the Astrodome. Round eight, the Astrodome, Houston, George Cavallo, White Trunks, Cleveland, Williams, and Black. Williams trying to find... Some room against Chevalo now at center ring. Chevalo would like to finish it here. Now the cat coming back. A flurry of punches. Right, left as it goes to Chevalo and stuns him. Chevalo takes him to the ropes and they break. And the big cat ties him up as Keel breaks them at center ring. Both fighters, needless to say, very tired here in round eight at the Astrodome at Houston, Texas. This, the eighth round. Chevalo coming back to Williams now. As they tie up.
Again, Cleveland talking to referee Earl Keel. As they tie up at center ring. <laughs> no question about it. Both fighters very tired through eight rounds here in the Astrodome. As Chevalo goes to the big cat. With a right, then a left. Working on the body as the bell sounds, ending round eight from the Astrodome. Again, to say, Howard, it's amazing that a man of 38 years old can go 12 rounds, 10 rounds, 12 between Muhammad Ali and Buster Mathis. This is round nine. Two big heavyweights, both near 230 pounds. Both have fought for the world's heavyweight championship at one time in their life. Shavalo going to Williams now on the far side of the ring and tying him up in the ropes. Keel asks for a break. No question about it, Howard. Williams very tired now. A minute and 26 with the clock running remaining in round number nine. Chevalo swinging wildly, now tying up Williams. Cavallo with a flurry of punches. Working on the body, back to the head, back to the body. Now less than a minute remaining in round number nine. Cavallo. So far, the Canadian heavyweight champion outclassing the big cat as Williams tires at center ring. Coming up, Buster Mathis, Muhammad Ali and closed circuit television across the United States. Twelve rounds of boxing from the Astrodome in Houston as time is running out in round number nine between Chevalo and Williams. The end of round nine from the Astrodome. As it exists now, Cleveland Big Cat Williams hoping to stay with Chevalo, the Canadian heavyweight champion, to the final and tenth round. Referee Earl Keel calling for both fighters at center ring. Round ten, the Astrodome, Chevalo in white, Williams in black trunks. Earlier, in tonight's fight, Chevalo was cut under both eyes. Both men very tired. The fans coming to life now as Ali watches from his dressing room. He fought both men at one time. He beat both men. He has lost to only one man. And he wants that man again, Joe Frazier. And he will get that man. Williams, black trunks. Chevalo and White, the closing seconds of round 10, the Astrodome, a flurry. 38 seconds remaining. Chevalo trying to go at the big cat. Williams hoping only now to hold on until the end of round 10. Keel, the referee, asking for a break. Less than 20 seconds remaining. 
Chevallo unable to take out the big cat in 10 rounds. The same can be said for Cleveland Williams. Two big, powerful heavyweights. The bell ending round 10 from the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. The referee is Earl Keel as we look at Chevallo in the far corner. The judges are Jimmy Webb and Ernie Taylor. Perhaps Howard Cosell has a decision on this one. I'll wait for the I'll wait for the official scoring on this one. Dan. I suspect they'll give it to Williams. A decision from center ring, Shelley Saltzman. Ninety-eight points for George. Unanimous 10-round decision for George Chevallo, the Canadian heavyweight champion. Unanimous 10-round decision over Cleveland Big Cat Williams here at the Astrodome in Houston. And we now wait for tonight's scheduled 12-round heavyweight fight between Buster Mathis and Muhammad Ali.